Hey guys, welcome back to channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 1000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. Never goes unnoticed. Hope you're doing alright and may you stay blessed. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link down below and I'll be sure to check it out. Find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Head there, say hi, we'll say hi back. Our vlogging channel, Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out. So today I'm actually I'm going to be reacting to the most difficult question asked to Dr. Zaki Naik. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Next question asked by Nawaz Sharif from Calcutta. Which is the most difficult question posed to you so far in your life? This is the question. This question, which is the most difficult question posed to you so far in life, is the most difficult question in my life. Yes, there have been difficult questions. I can narrate many. As far as the most difficult question is concerned, because it's not a very common question, I will never tell it to the masses, to the public. Because such questions can are so difficult, so attacking. And if it's not common, why should I make it public? Alhamdulillah, I have the answer. And, and Allah help me. It's through Allah's help I got the answer. This I only discuss with the scholars and the fuqahas. And I asked them, what is the answer? And I asked this to maybe uh, 50 or 100 people who are scholars and people of knowledge. And, and, and unfortunately, the most difficult questions have not been answered because of the intricity. Not because of the knowledge based, it is the intricity of the question. So those questions which are attacking Islam, and they are not common, and it's difficult to understand the answer. As a policy, even if you ask, I'll never tell you. That's only to be discussed with people of knowledge and the scholars. Yes, there have been many questions which are tricky. Many questions which may require logical answer has nothing to do with Islamic knowledge. And there are many. I'll just give one example to you. I don't say it's the most difficult, but it was uh, a tricky question. And I remember, I think it was in the year 2014 or somewhere close to that in Dubai, after my lecture in Dubai, there were about 15-20 thousand people in the audience. There's a lady who's a non-Muslim who asked me a question. And she said, the Dr. Zakir, you often give the example of why a Muslim lady should do hijab. And you ask the question that if two twin sisters who are equally beautiful, one of, their, one of them is wearing the Islamic hijab, complete body covered, except the face and the hand up to the wrist. And the other twin sister, she's wearing the Western clothes with mini skirts and a low neck and if both of them are walking down the streets of Dubai and if there is a hooligan, if there is a ruffian who is waiting to tease a girl, which girl will it tease? And you ask this question and yes, I have given this example and I have asked this question since the early 90s when I gave the talk of women that's in Islam the first time in 1993, since this time I am asking a question and I have asked this question in public forum that which girl will you treat? And always the answer has been, but natural, the girl wearing the western toes, in mini skirt or low neck, because she's attracting. And for, for 20 years, the answer has been the same. Now this lady comes up and she repeats the question, but she says that according to me, the girl wearing the Islamic hijab would be teached. I said, why? She said, because the man would like to know what is behind the clothes. That's why he will tease the girl wearing the Islamic hijab. And my daughter who was in the audience, she said, now Abba is trapped. My father is trapped. And I was taken aback that this was never answered. So what I say, these type of, these type of replies are mainly devilish replies to try and trap. But Alhamdulillah, in such situation, Allah is the one who always helps. I got up and I said, okay, sister has asked a very good question and I continued the question. And I said, though I disagree, so this was a question asked, now hear my answer. I said, I disagree with your answer. It's an illogical answer. But if you agree that your answer is correct, then why are you wearing clothes? 
if you don't want people to be clothed, you should take off your clothes. And believe me, that woman was so embarrassed and that was a very good slap to her reply, to her question, which was a devilish question. She went back and she sat quietly. So these types of questions by non-Muslims to come to attack you, it has got nothing to do with Islam. My answer was logical. But what I told you, okay, I disagree with your answer. But if you agree with your answer, why are you wearing clothes? And she was wearing clothes. I said, why are you wearing clothes? And so, so these type of questions, the answer should be with hikmah. Udu ila sabili rabbika bil hikmah. Wal mu'azit al hasna. Vajad milati asan. Invite all to the way of thy Lord with wisdom and beautiful preaching and argue with them in the ways that are best and most gracious. So such type of questions are many. Inshallah, if you see my videos and see my question answer session, you will find many of such, such questions. Who do you guys think would be tased in such a situation? Someone in a hijab and covered up or someone wearing something Western? Mm. I'm trying to understand where she was coming from. As a woman, why are you thinking like that in the first place? Where is this coming from? You know, there's always a background to, um, to a question. There's always some intention uh, before people ask a question. Why would you want, why would you think and want the other person to be tested in this situation? Why don't you think the other one would be tested instead, you know? Um, I personally feel like, I feel and think that people in hijabs are actually more respected than people that wear less clothing. That's what I think. And I, don't, I, don't, I see no reason as to why any of them should get tears in the first place. I really see no reason. No one should be attacked in any way. Both should be respected despite choice of clothing. But, um, and to want someone to answer according to the way you think is wrong. People have differing opinions. Don't force someone into a corner just to get out that answer that you want. It is very very wrong you know we have to be humble in this world we have to be satisfied with the way someone is thinking and is answering you and to think that less clothes are more classy less clothes will gain you the respect less clothes will get you I don't even know what respect or whatever it is and just safer than someone in a hijab it's very wrong to think that I think everyone is safe in this world but i don't know i really wonder where she was coming from some some questions are trick questions yeah they want to see what you say and they'll run with that tomorrow you see yourself in the papers being accused of saying so and so when you actually just gave a regular answer and uh it's good that she was asked why she was clothed if she thought less clothes is security in this situation you know and um I'm sure she had something to think about when she went home. I mean, 1993 is a long time. I don't even think, not, I don't think, I know I wasn't even born by that time. I'm sure she changed. I'm sure the response from Dr. Zaki Naik gave her something to think about that night. Or for the rest of her life, if she's still around, you know. Uh, let me know what you guys actually think about this video of Dr. Zaki Naik explaining the hardest question he's ever received. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link. Drop it down below. I'll be sure to check it out. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll surely see you in my next reaction video.